Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the Get Down channel. Today we're cooking Italian food. We're going to do a cold pasta, regatoli pasta also with hard salamis. We're going to have bell pepper. Just hit the like and subscribe button because we're cooking today. So please join me on my channel. Let's start with our pasta. So today's meal, regatoni, the curly pasta that holds all the seasoning inside. I love that. So we already have our water over here boiling. Set that on to the side. Oh yes. What I love to do with the water, let's add a pinch of sea salt to it. Himalaya sea salt. There you go. Awesome. Get that right on in there. We're just going to stir that, stir that up so that it doesn't stick. There you go. Adding in there a little grapeseed oil. 100% grapeseed oil. It's not bad. It's good for you. Plus, it keeps our pasta from sticking. We're going to make that El Caladente. So, we're going to move over here now to our salami. So, what we're going to do with our salami, we're just going to slice it up. Use everything you have in the refrigerator. I mean, this is some of my leftover stuff. The tomatoes, the red bell peppers. So, everything's going to go in here. It's like a goulash of this stuff. So we're going to just take the salami, line it up. We got pepperoni, we got pepperoni. So we're just going to slice. Mm -hmm. We're going to add this to our pasta. So all this will be mixed in. Yeah, I like that. How that's going. You got to peel it all apart. So continuing to chop up the salami. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on the Get Down channel. Alright, so we're just going to move all this so far to the side. Right along with our bell pepper. The green bell pepper. You're going to put this in raw. No need to cook it. This is a cold dish. Okay. We discard the top of this. Cut it in half. This stuff right here you want to cut off. It is not tasty. It is bitter. So just discard it. So we're just going to slice these up. Because this is long slices. It can't get teetering and taxing. So, you, you know, you don't have to make them large. But you definitely want to make them nice size. Alright, on to the next. Cut the heads off. As I talked about before, the stock. You're not going to use that. It's nothing. Take the inside out. Get rid of it. Discard it. Cut it in half. Don't forget to check your pasta too. Because you want your pasta to be El Caliente. It's looking pretty good. Pasta. Yes. It's a binding but fulfilling meal. Can't go wrong with it. If you've got to feed a big family, get you some pasta. Alright, so moving forward on to our next yellow bell pepper. Continuing to poorly chop it. And slice and dice. All right, once again, we got to check our pasta. Just going to come over and do a test on the pasta. See how it's going. You know, with spaghetti, you throw it on the wall, and if it sticks, then it's perfect. I have no idea what you do with this. Put it in your mouth, taste it. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, that is not done at all. But it does need some seasoning. Going to put in here a little oregano. Mm-hmm. And some Italian seasoning. I like the Italian because this is Italian cold pasta. It's not from Italy. It's from L.A. Inglewood. <laughs> that pasta is not done. So it's almost done. It's, it's tasting delicious. But when it is done, we're just going to cut it off, leave it on to the side, and leave it in the water. And then we're going to rinse it. Okay, so yeah, I probably need to put this now. Discard that. Put this in a bowl. Let's do a cross cut. Do a cross cut. I'm going to add it to the bowl. Okay. Very good. So we used this red onion yesterday, but we're going to finish it off and we're going to add this also to the Italian pasta salad. 
So you just want to do a medium cut. Mm. Boy, this knife of skill is horrible. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just laugh at yourself. If you can't laugh at yourself, then the world's gonna laugh at you. That's for sure, because everybody's waiting for you to fail. And failure is no option when it comes to 2021, 2023, 25. Failure is not an option. So look at that beautiful mixture. Ah, oh, look. Just colorful. I love it. Looks inviting, refreshing. There you go. Slice up our onions. We're going to add that as well to more bell peppers. More flavor. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. They say cut like this. That way you don't cut your hands off. Alright, I'm really liking what I'm seeing now. This looks really good. I'm going to pour it out in here kind of mix it up a little better. All right, so next we're gonna open up some artichokes. So you're gonna drain the juice off. Discard all that good stuff out of there. Once again, just gonna add this to a bowl. Leftover tomato, we're gonna add that in there too. Waste not, want not. Next thing we need to do now is drain our pasta. Okay, now we have our strainer, so we're going to strain our pasta, and it should be ready. Looks good. It's nice and fat and el caliente. Perfect. Pour that in there. There we go. Pour it just like that. Check me out. I'm all steamed up. Cool. I'm in a sauna. Hmm. I didn't have to go to Spa Palace today. Just did it at home. Awesome. All right, so let's rinse off our pasta so it don't be all sticky. Get a nice rinse. Cool it off. Awesome. That's great. We're going to add our stuff in here. Very good. We're also going to add our salami in there. Variety. Awesome. Good, good. So we're going to add some black anchovies to this as well. So, and I'm sorry, black olives. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, that's beautiful. That is just looking the part. All right. So we got our artichoke here. We're just going to spread them out, kind of peel them apart. Yes, it's going to be a nice little meal for some people. Nice little family meal. Some meat added to it. All right, so you kind of get the idea. All right, so we have our tomatoes, red tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna rinse them off. Always rinse off your vegetables, it's real good because you buy them from the store. You know, organic means that they're grown without pesticides. No dirt, no pesticides but you still want to rinse off your produce before you uh, start cooking. Okay, that's just do the thumb. All right, so we're going to do these half quarters. We're going to do a lot of them half quarters. You know, there's such a thing called a mandolin bay that you could use to cut your vegetables. You just you're done. Uh, we're old school. And this knife is very sharp. I just cut my hand. Okay, so. Cut my finger back, got my band-aid, got a new knife, but we'll rinse it off just for prosperity. Everybody knows that it's a clean slate. Okay, so toss that to the side. Bring back over this. Add the tomatoes, the tomatoes, and that. Beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and do a mix. Good. All right, so now we're going to add our pasta in as well. So let's start with our pasta. Get that in there. Mm 
I hope you like what you see. It's a nice meal for the summer. It's around the corner. So, not the summer, the winter. Served with a nice bowl of soup. Okay, so now that we're at this point, we're going to add some cracked pepper to it as well. And uh, we got some pepper here. So let's rinse our hands off. Make sure you clean off everything because you're, you're utilizing this stuff. So anything you touch, re-wipe, you know, keep the work area clean. There we are. All right. So now at this point, we're going to add some wishbone. I'm not sponsored by wishbone, but I'm using wishbone today. For the get down channel. Okay, that shook up enough. So add that in there. And yes, about that. Oh boy. Alright, so once again, nice little stir. This is gonna sit in the refrigerator overnight and just marinate. And in the morning, you just serve it up to the family. And you got yourself a meal. You got yourself a pasta meal right there, I swear. Possibly takes 15 minutes to prepare and 35 minutes to buy in the store. Hey guys, thank you for watching my channel today. I hope it was very entertaining, the whole pasta. It was superb, Mwah, magnificent. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It's going down right here. My name is Stephanie Zachary. Thank you.